looking at the most popular video that I had uploaded, I found there has been a lot of interest in connecting back-to-back -back SCRs in AC circuits to microcontrol circuits or digital circuits. So without we will explain uh, once again uh, using one opto isolator rather than using two opto isolators in earlier programs which have shown that we had used one opto isolator for one SCR and other opto isolator for another SCR. Here we are using only one opto isolator and then we are trying to achieve the same thing and we will see how it works. So the uh, planning, uh, the, uh, the requirement is that uh, we have connected it like this. This is the load and this is the supply and we have the back to back SCRs connected. And they are connected in this fashion and we will see how it works. Now when we simulate this, what we find that when this is logic 1, the slight is falling on this, that means this is conducting. If this is conducting, then in positive half cycle the current flows this way, negative half cycle current flows this way. How it flows, let us uh, stop the uh, arrest the simulation and in see as to in what in what happens in a particular phase. Now in this situation, ROH mark is here that means this side is negative, this side is positive. When this is positive, it current flows this way, this way, it goes this way it can also go this way let's see it can go this way but the there is no arrangement of the scr being triggered here so what happens it goes this way this way F uh, now it is not going we'll see how when it the current flows it goes this way this way this way it cannot go this way because this is the cathode so it goes this way this way this way this way this way now here what happens this is a resistive path whereas this is a diode it's just a junction and this junction you can see is across the uh, this junction uh, this is a pnpn junction this is a pnpn junction that means the current will not flow here but then flow here to reach here but it will flow this way this way and this way because this is one pn junction these are two pn junctions and in case any case it's a reverse pn junction as far as the current cannot flow from cathode to gate it can only flow from gate to cathode so in any case the current now goes this way this way this way this way goes this way reaches this way comes here and here and now it conducts only if this lighting is falling on this and it goes this way this way this way and when it reaches here it has got two uh, two three areas it cannot go this way because it is reverse biased and it can go this way but this is a resistive path so it will not go this way it will go this way this way this way this way this way enter the gate here and comes out of the cathode and reaches the negative that means it started from here this way 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 and 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 this way through the load it reaches the negative as we discussed in all uh, before in our practical electronics it will starts from here it has to end here now once the current flows between the gate and the cathode this scr is triggered that means the supply will now main supply will now flow from here 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 through the load back but the gate uh, initially it was it was not able to flow here now because the gate has been triggered it tries to flow here all these simulations what has been shown here uh, for the purpose of uh, understanding we have done it in a very low frequency actually it will be happening at a very high frequency i am not able to use that high, high frequency because you will not able to conceive how the current flows so that's why we have done it in a low frequency as you can see it is operating half cycle this side half cycle this side Actually, if I operate it at 50 Hz, perhaps you will not be able to see because our persistence of vision, it is not possible to see that how it changes so fast. That is why we have chosen this line. And uh, similarly, we can also use opto, instead of opto isolators, we can use pulse transformers. You see, pulse transformers were used in the past and now of course they have been uh, getting uh, phased out just because pulse transformers have a little problem because these are all wound components as, com as compared to an opto isolator. In an opto isolator, it is an optical means of coupling. Whereas in a uh, pulse transformer, it is a transfer means of it is a magnetic uh, means of uh, coupling. That means it has a L component. L means omega L. Omega L means it is uh, proportional to the frequency or uh, the, uh, the impedance varies depending on the frequency. So whenever we are to operate at a little higher frequency, it is not possible for us to use 
pulse transform that is the reason why the present trend is to go for opto isolators and uh, here let's see the same thing happens what we are done here with the same circuit and uh, they are we will also explain how it works now let's see how it works well let's see let's arrest again one one page right now this is this side this is this side mean this is positive this is negative at negative this is positive half cycle the negative half cycle you think it goes this way this way this way it cannot go this way because this is anyway a, a, a reverse bias so it cannot go it can only go this way it go this way it uh, right now let's see how it uh, really works it works that when the pulses are coming here whatever uh, frequency the pulses are coming here how, how it uh, flows now the, the current if a pulse comes here that time this current flows this way this way this way this way this way this way and once the current flows in the pulse transformer this way if it will depending on this dot which has been provided here if this side is current flowing this way this will be high at that time this will also hide at that time with respect to this this is this is one winding this is the other winding In this winding this will go high and this will be low and this will also go high this will be also go low in each time the current flows here both of them go high now let's see if both of them go high how does it really work here now let's see an example here that means when this side is positive it goes this way this way this way it can go this way only if this current is flowing between gate to cathode when can the current flow between gate to cathode that when this is high the current goes this way this way this way this way this way and that is how the gate cathode circuit is complete once the gate cathode com circuit is complete the power flows this way and this way and this way and this is how the half cycle is complete for the but at the same time why this is not conducting the reason is because this is high this this s here is reverse biased though the this is high and current is flowing through the gate and cathode mind it the current is flowing through the gate and cathode but this is not able to conduct because that that half cycle this was positive that means this is positive that means this s here gets reverse biased so every time a pulse comes here it conducts this and the next pulse it conducts this bit difficult to understand but you see that means if this is my say uh, 50 hertz this has to be 100 hertz that is what the concept is that means every time this has to be uh, twice the uh, this thing for that to operate and this is how it works in a pulse transformer concept thank you